Yep. You know what the best part about having a new studio is? More decorating. Stickers. And getting used to your camera angles. <laughs> new cameras, new <laughs> studio, new setup. Yeah, I'm over here. And I look up and oh, oh shit. Yeah, look, there you go. This, these are actually all the stickers that we picked up from the... Uh, Let me see that one. The tattoo Under convention. The, Which one? Uh... No, the Dylan is that was it Dylan? Dylan, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that was just his. That was his business. That's actually his business card slash sticker. Huh? Hmm? It says on the back of it, "Tell your children to come get tattooed." <laughs> Perfect. That reminds me of uh, Danzig. Perfect. So yeah, we got we got more remodeling to do. Uh, we got a brand new studio. I can see you now. We're not looking like this anymore. Hello. Or this. Yeah. What? A, but my computer's over here now, and then. Yeah, so now my computer's here. Yeah, your computer's in front of you, so I'll be doing a lot of this over it here. It feels weird because I'm like I'm so used to while we're filming, since the our monitors are always they're always in front of us. I'm used to like looking up mm-hmm. at ourselves. Now, now I'm looking I'm forced up at to, you. Like look we're, at you. We're halfway to a real like show now. All we need's a third camera two more guests and a donkey and we're basically whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, what what i donkey? say three more guests two one more guest one more guest that's what i donkey. said wrong and a donkey what are we gonna do with the donkey give me 25 dollars. i'll show you <laughs> you ever been to tijuana <laughs> you ever been to tj huh hmm? i've seen it yeah, i've seen I've it heard. from the beaches of san diego <laughs> i've seen it <laughs> <laughs> on the beach yeah. No, that's a thirty dollar. That's a thirty dollar show. No, I didn't for the scene. Not the show. The I've seen the lights. Yeah. Oh, oh, TJ. Oh, you said, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I've only seen the lights. Yeah. Well, yeah. my bad. I've never yeah, seen no, it. Either. I was, I was enjoying a nice uh, IPA, uh, looking at a fire while looking at the lights. <laughs> TJ, I was not in TJ. <laughs> yeah. You want a drink? I can't. Oh, that's yeah, right. Can't. You can't. You're drinking <coughs> tomato juice. That's right. I'm actually, uh, mm, 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 mm. I'll, I'll catch up in 40 days. So, yeah, just to cover it. I'm, so I'm, I'm on Lent is what it is. I'm a little Catholic. Damn, son, you're going to pour the whole fucking thing in there? Take it. This is how much I always drink. What are you talking That's about? That's true. That is true. I, I didn't think about you're that. You're lucky I'm drinking it out of, out of the, the cup, glass. <laughs> not, not yeah, the bottle. Like a like fucking, a fucking redneck, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that either. No, it's what I usually do. I'm just on camera. So. Yeah, so you act civilized. But no, uh, yeah, so three weeks from now, four weeks from now, that way nobody asks if Diego's on meth or cracked out when I've dropped 40 pounds. It's because I'm, I'm juicing. It's, it's what I'm doing is I'm, ju- I'm doing a 40-day juice diet, not a cleanse. It's a big difference. Hats off to you. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I did it once I know before. You, d- you did it before. Yeah. Where uh, this wasn't during Lent, right? No, no, no. This was just because I got like a hundred, like two hundred five like pounds, like a butterball, like a, like a right? fat ass, two hundred five yeah. pounds. Yeah. I don't know how you do it because nah. I am a man who loves solid things going down my throat. <laughs> Same. Let me rephrase that. No, I love no, hot let's... solid things going down my. Throat. <laughs> That's not always true either. You like cold solid. No, nah, yeah, I, I don't really uh, care. Yeah. I, I ride your ass about it a cold. lot. Cold solid things. Hey, yeah, you do. Yeah, it's it's not that hard. Once you get past, this is day four for me, so it started on the twenty sixth, I think. Yeah. Uh, Ash Wednesday, and it's gonna go to Good Friday, so which is April 9th, which is also my mom's birthday. So by the time by the time my birthday rolls around on the fourteenth of April, I'll be down f- probably fifty pounds, maybe forty pounds, an additional thirty five pounds with this fucking piece of shit off my face too. I know. I'm I'm starting to grow out my beard now it. because I. I can't stand the look of myself with just this. I gotta have something, you know. Welcome to the look like a retard. Bitch. I might as well, you know, have the entire thing. Yeah, it looks good. Mm. Looks yours good. looks awful. I, I hate looking at it. It I makes me I furious feel. looking look at, at you. Look at all this. It may, this. It's even worse whenever you fluff it it's out on tamed. purpose. Yeah, I've got. I keep a lot of product in it because I. <laughs> My kids. One would look at you and not be able to tell. Trust me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. So I, I, I went and picked up my kids uh, last weekend. And I it's cold. We've hit a cold streak here with a lot of rain. And it was snowing that day. I had my hood on with my beanie and my and my lokes on. And I walked into the house to pick them up. They wouldn't, they wouldn't walk to me. They wouldn't come to me. 
until I talked and then they realized it was me. Like that's not, I, it been just last weekend. It's like, you know, <laughs> I just seen you guys. Yeah. I thought it had been like a few weeks. Cause we were, we oh, missed yeah, a weekend and then we were traveling been. and yep. then. Yeah. They didn't, they, there's so much length on the beard. You still have had the ugly fucking thing on your face for a good minute though. Mm-hmm. They should have recognized mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it took me talking. Well, I was covered up though too. So I, and I took my hood off and then it all was right with the world. Mm. And then mm. instant cars, <laughs> Coco, cars? that has house Damn cars. Yeah. Mm. You get a little taste of that too. And there's a new thing your daughters are doing as well is where they, uh, they can walk now. So they like to walk up and stand <laughs> right fucking behind you. That's <laughs> lovely. I love that. Oh, That's man. the best. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna. Your kid seriously. almost got decked. Yeah, I, I seen it. I, seen I it. almost punched your daughter right in the forehead. <laughs> She's because she had that creepy little fucking that like little Furby looking like, thing, yeah, fairy thing, and it had know. brand new batteries in it. So, oh no, no, the batteries were dying, so she couldn't give the warning shot. Yeah, she was just walking around <laughs> trying to get people to fix it. <laughs> no, that's exactly what it was. I. <laughs> Oh, Uncle Cruz, I need batteries for my Furby. Yeah. Well, he almost, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he I almost see. got a solid punch to the dome piece is what you almost got. But <laughs> down. I, I watched it. Yeah. Is it bad? Is that bad parenting that part of me wanted it to happen just because of the, the comedy of it? <laughs> I watched your whole body freeze up. Like, <laughs> I Well, yeah, because I had to go through the motions of, is this wrong? Should I punch this little <laughs> child in the forehead? Or... Oh, it may man. be a demon. Yeah, could be taking a really big risk here. They do the they do the drive and stare on everybody. They just stare at you and walk through the house. Sometimes they just sit and stare at and you. That's also creepy. An emotionless gaze. There's some there's sometimes that I'll just walk into the bedroom. And I think they're napping, and just one of them just sitting there staring at me. It's not a comfortable feeling in your own house. I may have a possessed twin. Twins are creepy as it is. Yeah, the looks they give me, it reminds me of The Shining, yep. 100%. Yep. And they have these, they have, like, kids have high-pitched voices anyways, but they have these, like, squeaky high-pitched voices. It almost creeps me out, and I'm their father. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like, oh, that's so cute. No, no I'm kind of like, oh, You're like, oh, God, boy. burn them. Don't go to sleep, <laughs> is what I tell myself. Uh, they also do, well, all three of them do it. They do that weird thing where they just, this is the back of the couch. Oh, my God. Or, or a wall. Yeah. Where they just go. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand. I just. Sometimes I just, sometimes with a smile on their face, which is even that's worse. That's the worst part. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like. Droll uh, coming out of their mouth. <laughs> yeah. That's good parenting. That's, I mean, that's what I'm here for. Anybody needs any you tips? Just, you just take a look at them like, okay, I'm yeah. going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> they're, well, <wait>. they're fine. <laughs> the old one look after the young ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it, it's an adventure here in any given time. Ah. But anyways, yeah, juicing, 40 days. It'll be fine. No, juice only. No solid foods. Can you have gum? Uh, it's sugar-free. You can't have you gum. Have sugar-free See, gum. I, I feel like I would maybe be able to do it if I could, if I was allowed to, like you know, chew yeah. gum. I mean, say if I was doing like a lint thing, you mm-hmm. know, as long as you're allowed to chew gum, I could probably do it. Yeah, the because it's like the the chewing thing. If I could keep, you know, if I could try to trick my brain into thinking I'm, yep. I just smell somebody's burger and then throw in a piece of gum. And Maybe. yeah, and see, and I, the only times I've struggled so far in these last four days, five days, however long it's been now, was when the the kids were here, and I was and I don't even like it's just the smell of food, you know, or if it's in your face, or you just so, you know, shit, you do it, you, you, I mean, as a parent or as an uncle, you just, well, then. I don't waste this food, so we just, you know, eat the chicken nuggets or eat the french fries or eat the eggs or, you know, whatever it is that you're fixing them. And so a couple of times I just caught myself like, well, shit, I'm not going to let this go to waste. Ah, oh, wait a minute. And I just... You didn't slip up and eat a nugget? No. Well, no, not at all. Not at all. I've not even come close. You're still allowed in heaven. How about yeah, that? Yeah, that's how about that. I can still get in the dose. <laughs> well, at least for this, anyways. <laughs> As long as he doesn't watch the other 13 shows, we're okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Yeah, and you know, I'm not even that religious. Like, I'm Catholic. 
I've got like five rosaries tattooed on me. I've not been to church in 20 years, I think now. Last time I went to church was like, I was like 14. So it's longer than that. Uh, just, yeah, that's the one thing I keep intact. Everything else, yeah, off the Yeah, rails. but you're not like, I don't know. I've never really met a Catholic who was, to be honest with you, who's like in your face about it. No, you know, that's or not anything like that. So it's not whatever. Yeah. I I never have an issue with anybody's religion. That's no. your religion. Yeah, it just is quiet as it's kept. That's yeah. I'm yeah, I'm just kinda like over here. I throw just everybody don't, just off. Don't fucking knock me for not believing yeah. you. Know? Like, I, I I'm throw, not gonna knock you for doing it. I throw so. everybody off with the occasional one time a year on Lent, which is only one time a year anyways, and then uh that's, that's it. That's it, honestly. That's it. Mm, I get the Guilt trip from my mom about not going to mass on Easter Sunday, and then I asked her what time she if she went to late or early mass, <clears throat> and she hasn't gone either. So even better. Um, that's about it. Yeah, and then all the rosaries. I carry one in the car, and then I have like five tattooed on me. We're fine. We're it's fine. fine. It's you can no st- big deal. Yeah, we're not. It's gonna be. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So yeah, don't send in emails to me asking me if I need an intervention for uh, my my meth abuse. When I just get skinny out of nowhere, it's, I promise I'll be fat it's in no just time. just Adderall. <laughs> Truth. You have no idea. Actually, you have an idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, got, you got a big idea. We love Adderall. I love Adderall. Hit up the Patreon account. We want a prescription for 30 milligram Adderall. That's oh all. God. That's it. 30 milligrams. I'm just going to... I just... Yeah. That's fine. And You'll get five shows a week i'll drink to that you get eight that's one for every day of the week <laughs> in adderall time <laughs> yeah that's true that is true okay so speaking of patreon go to our website theasylum.productions and uh hit up the link that says patreon uh, we want to thank everybody ahead of time all the patrons that we already have uh thank you very much very awesome for your subscriptions, your I, I still don't know. I've not nailed down what to call it. What do they? What do you? What do you call it when you pay the money? It's not a donation. It's a subscription. It's a subscription. Yeah. Thank you for subscriptioning. Right? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Thank you for your subscription. <laughs> This is the last show we'll be doing. <laughs> I hope so. I'm cashing in all the Patreon and moving to Mexico. <laughs> it's okay. It'll what? get you one donkey show. Is all it's gonna Bullshit. Be. It's We're... like 50 bucks. <laughs> That'll get me pretty far in Mexico. <laughs> That'll get you. That'll get you down the line a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, thank you uh, once again to all our patrons and all the emails and whatnot that we've got asking about it as well. Um, yeah, we're doing everything we can to... Make this shit better, hence the new studio, uh, the new alignment, and we also have something else new. Um, we are back on the radio. Hmm? Do you like to play radio? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we never left radio. We never really left yeah. radio. We, we left digital radio for, for a hot minute. When I say a hot real minute. hot minute. Yeah, real it hot. It wasn't even that long. It wasn't even that long. Like, it wasn't even that long. It's like two weeks. No. Nah. Two weeks. No, it was like a month. Was it a month? It was like a month. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, you're right. I It's going to go full shab on you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But this time you're actually right. <laughs> As opposed to just agreeing <laughs> with what's going on. Um, so, yeah, Hellfire Radio. Uh, hit up that website, hellfireradio.com. Also, you can get to it through the links on our website, uh, theasylum.productions, and uh, you know with the Patreon there as well. Um, also, the newest thing, and this is all 100% you, you kind of just did it sitting, just sitting, being bored one day. We got merch. Yeah, we have merch now. You can go to the website, hit the merch link, and it'll take you straight to the merch. T-shirts, socks. Buy our merch. <laughs> Tank tops. Tank tops, uh, leggings. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I got, I, have, I put phone cases on there. Phone cases, I've seen that. Uh, mugs. Condoms. No condoms, not yet. Oh, not get there. yet. Get I'm there. working on that. Yeah. Can't decide if I just want the monkey to be at the head of the cock or if I want the asylum going down the shaft. I can't. It's really hard. Oof. You know, we don't have to model those, do we? Because then I, it's just the ah. Oh, absolutely, we do. <laughs> we got to model them. Yeah, we got to get in there, red hot chili pepper style. <laughs> Mine just says, um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. 
<laughs> um, that's yeah, that's usually yeah. what they say when they say it, it anyway. Mm. Oh, um, mm, my mom's calling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, that would work in reverse for you. Hey, your mom doesn't like when I call my cock small. No, no, <clears throat> she doesn't want everybody to know. Yeah, don't don't leave out the family <laughs> secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the website one more time, theasylum.productions, and uh, hit up all that new shit we got going on. Like I said, we're back at Digital Radio, Hillfire Radio. Um, also, we got a new merch. Um, yeah, and the Patreon account as well. So, as always, please, please, please go to the Patreon, subscribe. Uh, we got a lot of new shit that we're about to release, um, a lot of behind the scenes shit. Um, also, with the merch, I mean, you can get stickers like this. This is not one of ours. I'm not going to turn around and show you what it is, but this is what a sticker looks like. Or it could be <laughs> this. Oh, God. Or it could be this size, huh? You know. Or it could be like it is. I think mm-hmm. I think they all know what stickers are. You mm-hmm. never know. You never know. Sometimes. Oh sometimes. Sometimes people don't know. And that leads me to our first topic of the day. Near and dear to my heart. And I hope this shit goes on clearance because I'm going to buy it up through the end of the century. So, uh, Corona, the I can't think of the brewing company. I know it's out of Illinois, though. But the uh, Corona, whoever brews Corona, is taking a huge hit in the pocketbook. Why? Because people are fucking stupid. People That's why. are fucking idiots. Why? Why? Not our listeners, of course. They know what's up. <clears throat> yeah, Whoa. they drink Modelo. They drink Modelo, yeah. Which, I like Modelo. I don't not like Modelo. I just like Corona. So, people are not buying Coronas because of the Corona flu. But you goddamn are going into Walmart, taking a deuce, and just walking straight out and not washing your hands. In the floor, (laughs) nonetheless. What the fucking fuck? You can't really be that surprised, though. I am not. I'm not. You know, I, like I am, and I'm not. I I'm not because uh, look at what we deal with on a daily basis. Look what poor Garth Brooks just had to go through. Right. 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 But I am because that is a huge conglomerate that they took down by the millions. Like it wasn't just like a you know, ten thousand dollar hit. And, yeah. yeah. Like, it, no, this was like all. Why do they have to call it that? <laughs> That's part of what they said. Like, oh come on, god damn it! Yeah. Why? Come on. Wasn't there something else? Why couldn't it be the another bird flu or swine flu or something? It had yeah. to be coronavirus. Take, huh? take down something that's shit. Could have been the Modelo virus, why, bitch. Why couldn't it have been the Coors virus? Uh, the Miller High Life virus. There we go. Bud Light virus. Bud Light virus. Budweiser virus. Oh, please, please, take that down. Just yeah, yeah. Uh, then you lose Michelob though. So uh, 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 this all be made by uh, what is that Bush, company called? Anheuser Busch. Anheuser, yeah. yeah. How do yeah. you say it? Anheuser Busch. Anheuser. Yeah. That doesn't sound right. That's right. My dad's drank all my life. Trust me. That's right. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I that's what I started on. Yeah. Was Budweiser. It's, actually, it's, it's Anheuser slash Bush. I think it's two names, but Bush, not the baked beans family, is the <laughs> Bush. Bush. Which I just seen that they're gonna have a reality TV show. It's like something what? about Bush. Yeah, kicking it with the Bushes. Or some shit like that. They're like oh, the like, first, like George W. Bush. No, oh, oh. they're like the first family. That would of, be a good show. That would be a good show. I would fucking watch the shit out of that show. That would be a lot like, I don't even know. I couldn't even imagine. But uh, no, it's like they're they're deeming themselves like the first family of of beer or some shit like that. I don't know. Look that shit up, Jamie. Fuck, we still don't have a Jamie. We're still too low budget. <laughs> and I'm not left handed, so I can't pull it. I'll up. be Jamie. God You're gonna, damn hold it. Hold on. No, I got it. You, you No, no, hold on. You got, I'm already in the works of doing it. Just you got to stretch too far. It's right here. I'm I need to me. rearrange my Yeah, I need to fix my computer screen. That's way oh, too good. far to go. It's got to install updates. Perfect. P- perfect. It's going to take no time at all. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. So yeah, look, but that's <laughs> aggravates me. <laughs> <laughs> that aggravates me so much so like uh. Like, this is the stupidity we're dealing with. Like, you just, you scroll through Instagram, and you scroll through Facebook, and you just see all these stupid posts and shit, and then you're like, ah, I post stupid shit too. But yeah, it's I'm, just, yeah, but I, it's I just because it you, you post daily. it. 
<clears throat> it's just because you post it, not because you believe in it. Then it makes you start thinking if people really believe in this shit. What was I looking up? Uh, the Bush family reality TV show, I think, is what you were looking up. I can't remember now. I wish I had, like, a MacBook or something sitting right here. Right here. Like, right here. <laughs> I wish I had a MacBook sitting right here. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, then I could use it. Thank you, Jeff Hodson. Bush family secrets exposed? Is that what we're... I guess. Working? I don't know. Let's, <laughs> I don't that's it. Please read on. No, Does that say Pornhub? <clears throat> Wrong kind of bush. You misspelled no. it. I, don't I know. It's actually trash. not spelled like that. Go to xnx.com. That's where... <laughs> oh, no. That's where... It, it, it's B-U-S-C-H, as in bus <laughs> That's what I. That's how I spelled it. Nerd? Oh, uh, what... Can't you read? I seen... There it is. Bush family lands MTV reality show. The Bush Family Oh, it's brood. a reality show? Yeah. Dude, I'm not fucking watching that. Yeah. Anheuser-Busch Family talking about drinking. Find time to talk I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Teen. It I'm is. Just, no, it's not. It's Anheuser. Run it back. <laughs> Pull that shit up, Jamie. <laughs> While we're in the process of delaying, if anybody out there wants to be our Jamie, all I gotta do is email us. Diego or Cruz at the Asylum dot Productions. <laughs> <coughs> it doesn't pay for shit. Matter of fact, it doesn't pay anything. <laughs> but we need your help. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I don't know why it's trying to hit the touch. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Very elegant. Ooh. Anheuser, okay. All right. Bud. No pun intended. Anheuser yeah. Say right. it again. Speak to me softly next time. So that's that's that. regardless of how you fucking say it, it's a stupid reality show. Who who's gonna watch that? Plenty. I'm gonna watch it. Plenty. I, I'm yeah. gonna watch the first episode for sure. The first the first initial episode it showed. It reminded me of that Party Down South reality show where it's like, where they're in Nashville or whatever. They gave all these poor, good, hardworking country folks a bad name instantly because they're just a bunch of dumb rednecks was on that show. Like, when I think of redneck. I don't think I, I remember that show. Yeah, it's, it was on for like a hot minute. And I've never even watched an episode. i just seen clips of people acting a fool. Your grandmama going to be not very happy with you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Ah, hey, uh, you looking to get a tattoo anytime soon? Yes, always, mm -hmm. always, always. And if you want to get some ink, all you got to do hit up my boy Fred or Corey at Revelation Ink in Smithville, Tennessee. They're taking care of everything you need, uh, tattoo wise. Also, uh, they have a piercer on staff now, <laughs> so. I just uh, yeah, uh, want to throw that out there. Rev Revelation what's the address? Tattoo Studios in Smithfield, Tennessee. What's the address? Don't, don't be a smartass. <laughs> Come on, man. You're the piercer there. You should. Uh... I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, Smithfield, Tennessee. Come on. Right two doors down from Bumpers. On the square in Smithfield, Tennessee. <laughs> Four. Four. The kids. <laughs> 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 405 East, East Broad, Broad Street, Street Smithville, Smithville, Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> Don't fucking do that. You made me so mad. Uh, uh, now you know. Yeah, 405 West Broad Street, Smithville, Tennessee. Get out. I knew it the whole time. <laughs> Get I knew out. it the whole time. Revelation Inc. Tattoo Studios, Smithville, Tennessee. Yeah, so they are, are actually uh, sponsoring the show, too. So I guess you could say Inked and Chattered. Brought to you by Revelation Inc. Does it surprise you that we have a tattoo studio as our sponsor? No. No. <laughs> no, look yeah. at you. Look at look at me. That's not fair. Look at you with your shirt off. My shirt's on. Yeah, Pervert. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any tattoos. I'm a good Christian boy. Oh, boy. This is apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on, moving on. 
Uh, big UFC weekend last weekend. Well, it wasn't big, but it, no, actually, it was a big ass card though. It was a fucking awesome card for yeah. just being a fight night. How many fucking first round finishes were there? Uh, four out of the first five, I think, were first Jesus. first round finishes. Not whether it be knockout or submission. The undercard alone had f- twelve fights on it. I hate that I missed all the early prelims. Yeah, and that I was never the best missed part. those. That was the best part. Fuck. Like I just so happened to to hear the dun 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 dun. dun I was like. Uh, that seems pretty live to me. And then they started doing the walkouts. And I said, "Oh shit!" And that's when I text you. That was at five o'clock. So I guess it was the main card started at seven. Prelims yeah. started at five. Yeah. So. yeah. <clears throat> that main card went by fast too, bro. Like they just yeah, because all the fights were so finishing. quick. Yeah, they yeah. kept on finishing one another. I don't know if not there wasn't not a one that went to decision. I don't believe. And then there was that one terrible stoppage. I can't remember any of the names. I mean, that was just a, no. Yeah, I always I always struggle with the names. Yeah. It, um, the guy who got stopped and lost his nickname was the Hulk. That's all I can remember. Yeah, I don't. remember. What was his damn name? I can't remember. I can never. I think I'm he's so Croatian bad with names or some shit like that. Now I know uh, Benavidez was the only name I recognized out of that whole. And and, and Megan, Megan Fox. He give it. I can I. So I'm getting like it feels like the older I get, the worse I'm getting like with pronouncing things. Come on, Figueroa, Figueroa, Figueroa. Oh yeah, Figueredo. that was the other yeah. fighter, the one that missed weight. And then Ooh, he kept God. on saying how he is the champion. He just don't have the belt. Bullshit. Yeah. That, that stop. Okay, so the early stoppage with the Hulk. I can understand why the ref start like why the ref stepped in. But the fact that he was still, if you watch back the replay, yes, the motherfucker is dazed. He was. He, he was, was wobbly. For a second, yeah. But he's still throwing punches, and he's also conscious enough to be blocking kicks. He blocked a kick, and he blocked a couple punches while being dazed. That's enough for me. Let the dude keep fighting, you know? Not to mention he was he was in the middle of an overhand right when they stopped it. Right. That's like, that was probably going to connect if he'd not pushed him out of the way. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It happens. It happens. That, it, and then immediately protested the stoppage. Like, immediately. Immediately. Which I don't, I mean, I don't blame him. I don't, I don't know. We've all seen those fights where it looks, and, and, and then in the retrospect of that, two fights earlier, no, two fights later, with Megan. Well, no, it was that, that chick from Canada that went the distance with Cyborg before. Oh, yeah, yeah, on yeah. On the Nate and Pettis card. I can never remember her name. But she connected with an elbow, and you could see that chick's face that was underneath her. Like, she grimaced, and for an entire minute. She fucked minute, her up. She never Dude, opened she her eyes. she fucked her she up. She never opened her eyes. She was taking an ass beating, an ass beating. Yeah, and, she fucked her up. I mean, I guess it's it's... I don't know. And the other thing, with I'm not the, a ref, so I'm, I'm not going to criticize. All I'm saying is, fuck, man. The other thing with the early stoppage, well, like we say, early stoppage, just because it felt early to us. You want to say, you want to say, well, okay, the dude was dazed anyways. He's probably going to go out soon enough, right? Right. That's wrong. How many dudes get fucking knocked down and dazed and come back and end up winning the fight? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and they they were they were were they light heavy. Are they heavyweights? Mm. 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 I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember I can't, I can't what either. they were. I cannot either. But I, I know. I mean, it was it was a hell of a card. Those fight night cards are usually like there's usually a lot. Um, well, yeah, you got to remember like those those fight night cards are usually um, a lot of the fights are usually really good because these people are just on a fight night. Yeah, they got to get something up in those to prove. Views. Yeah. And then the prelims of a, a pay per view, those people also have something to prove, mm-hmm. you know, because they're just in the prelims, mm-hmm. trying to trying to get into a pay per view, yeah, and uh, get the uh, fight of the night and shit like that. I can't find the results mainly because I don't know. You just gotta go to because uh... <clears throat> now I feel now I feel like an asshole talking about it, but not knowing anybody's names. I'm just gonna go. If I could spell it right, that's it. Davison Figueroa. 
yeah, knocked out Benavidez. That was the one that missed his weight. Yeah, and that oh man, the the fact that they interviewed oh, him after that. Oh, I know. Yeah, I don't understand why I don't understand why Michael Bisbing interviewed him, but it seemed like he was waiting for him though too. Like it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, it was a weird. That was a really weird interview, and was like a huge downer for him to interview Joseph Benavidez after getting beaten like that. It was odd to see. <clears throat> I enjoy having a MacBook, but damn it, I don't know how to work it. This, uh, the mouse pad makes no, this does not make sense. This mouse pad is a Wookiee. Oh my god. <laughs> this just turned into a tutorial on how to work my MacBook. I have it pulled up for you. Whole one. Oh, you had it pulled up? On the screen? It's right there. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> Look at me go. Go for it. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you want pulled up? Just the, the um. You want the next bite? No, no, no. I, I had it right there. I want the results pulled up. Because I can't think of that one chick's name. Like, and she's going to be the next to fight uh, R- uh, Rhonda. Um, Amanda Nunez. Are you talking about Felicia? Yes, Felicia Spencer. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yep. Well, no, it's either going to be Felicia Spencer or, Ma- or Megan, Megan Anderson. Anderson yeah. yeah, which Megan Anderson come into the UFC with so much hype, and then she she won her first fight, and I think she got checked the next two, and uh, she, she I I made no bones about it the other night though she finished. I like I like I like Megan against Amanda. I like either. and the reason, huh? I like either. Yeah. You like her more, though. Yeah. I, I like Megan just because of the match and reach between yeah. her and Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes has that long-ass fucking reach. So does Megan. I feel like it'd be a really good... Nunes if just, they just stand up the entire time, but I, I don't, don't really see Amanda doing that, though. She's so. just so vicious. Like Amanda Nunes is just a, a, a wild animal. Uh, I don't know. Either way, it's going to be entertaining as shit. So, that, yeah, that was Felicia Spencer. I don't know why I can never remember. There it is, the Cutabella. I, Ian Cuta, is it Ian? Ian Cutabella? That was the stoppage. And yeah. Magomed from Russia. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to that man's. I'm not gonna do that to that man's last name. He's already dealing enough with his eyes. Like. I still think he looks like a created character. Like, you just want to fight the fight already in UFC 3? He seemed like a good sport about it, though. He, to, yeah, to, the, he, to the... I'm just going to call him by his... Magomed. His nickname, the Hulk. He seemed like a really good sport towards him. Like, dude, I understand. That was a fucking early stoppage, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. That was such, That was going to be such a good fight. It, did you see what he did? Yeah. you see what he did before the in fight? The, in the, while they were oh, announcing yeah. the names? Yeah. He said he's done that before, too. He's known for that shit. I, I've never, I've never seen, seen that before. That before. I, I was like, ooh. No, Matter of fact, it was so much cut off. I had my head down because I was working on some shit for the show. And I just had my head down. And next thing I know, I hear, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I look up and there's just, he's mauling them, you know. And I thought, oh, okay. Okay. Calm down. That's old news, son. R.I.P. Oh, uh, Paul Felder. Somebody just came out called him out. Somebody called him out. You see, uh, Cowboy called out Nate. He didn't, really? He didn't call him out. He just said it'd be fun to run that one back. That would be a good That'd fight. That'd be a good fight. That would be an awesome fight. That'd I'd be love a good to fight. see that. Come on back, too. And then you got uh, Dustin Poirier called Nate out. Called Nate out like he... Like Nate was the one that got his his ribs bruised and pulled out the first time. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? like That was on Dustin. Moving on to next week, though, that is the fight. I'm almost looking for like I'm looking forward to the Adesanya Romero, but I really want to see if Joanna Jajacek is really back or not. Like that's all I've seen is she's back, she's back, and is that just saying she's back because she doesn't have to fight Thug Rose because she don't want she couldn't beat Rose. Now it's Wang Li Jing, twenty and zero. Zhang. Wang Li Zhang. 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 Song. 
Where's Joe Rogan when you need him? <laughs> He's good with all these names. Yeah, I know, he is. This is terrible. But sh- that chick lost her first ever fight in the UFC, or first ever fight period, and has won 20 in a row since. Yeah. Beast. Beast mode. I think I think, I think Johanna's going to lose. I don't I don't really see her beating Willie. She's a, I don't see it. She's an animal. They both are. They both are. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, Adesanya Romero, who you got? Mm. What sucks about this? I don't I don't dislike either one of them, but I don't love either one of them. But you want I love s- Adesanya. You want us you do. Yeah. I do, yeah. You want to see Yoel get it, right? He's 42. I think he might be 40, 42, 43 now. Still built like a brick shit house, though. 42, win yourself a title. But then you also want to see Adesanya. How far can you go? Let's see if you can get on like an Anderson Silva, Mighty Mouse type of run and just keep on defending john jones type of defending you i mean know, he did whoop the shit out of fucking beat the shit out of robert whitaker he beat the shit out of robert whitaker and beat the shit silva. out of uh, anderson silva i mean yeah like everybody seems like he's faced i've even watched some of his kickboxing matches oh yeah yeah he's fucking he's long like mm-hmm. his leg just wow, 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 comes out of nowhere i don't know it's it's it's, an, it's interesting because I mean Israel is an excellent striker, but Yol's a one of the top. He was one of the top wrestlers in Cuba. I mean, can't really uh, yeah. That come from a boxing family. I didn't know his dad was who his dad was. Right. I didn't. Right. I had no idea yeah, until he t- came uh, from an entire boxing day. family and then ended up being and being a wrestler. Yeah, being a top notch wrestler. So it's it's one of those matchups. It's like the old UFC back in the day when they would have like a. A jiu-jitsu person against a, a just just a boxer, you know, like it's kind of what it is. I mean, it, it, Israel can roll just as well as anybody else, but you got he's going up against Yoel Romero, who's built like he is. Who like, I mean, you've seen we watched him spar earlier. His yeah. his his sparring is him running with a resistance band on his waist and picking up guys yeah like over and over again just like i'd pick up the kids and throw them on my shoulder yeah that's yeah. scary that's that's rough and that 185 i want i want that 185 yeah right that's 185 pounds packed into that <laughs> fuck that <laughs> no thanks no thanks at all uh i just polite pass polite pass so yeah then moving on to boxing, it's Fury and Wilder. I don't want. I'm not interested. I'm not really interested in it. No. No. Oh come on. I'm not really. Yeah. Because I feel that Fury has won. Has beat him twice. I feel that Fury oh, yeah. has beat him twice. Yeah, he beat him in the first yeah, fight. And clean. Definitely beat him beat in the second ass fight. In the second fight, it's gonna be worse for Wilder in the third fight. Yeah, I I, th- I think so too. I think so too. Like. What I hate the most is all these excuses. And once again, I'm not a professional athlete. I'm not a boxer. I'm not a mixed martial artist. I'm not a nothing, you know, besides doing what we do here. And we do radio. Like, we're fucking, these are our opinions. If you don't like them, you know, give me your opinion, I guess. All I'm saying. The, the, the excuse for walking out for, what was it? Like a 35-second uh, walkout. Like a 35-second walk with 40 pounds of of an outfit on you? Come on, dude. Yeah. Come on. You Wait. got fucking rocked in the ear, and it threw off your and equilibrium. Threw you off. No and big that's deal. why you lost the fight. It's no big deal. Just like, admit it. It happens. Like, whatever. He Just fired his trainer, brought keep, him back. Keep that arm tucked a little bit better yeah, next time. How about you know protect? What I mean? How about yeah. wrap up? How about not lean into a power puncher's fucking right hand? Yeah. When you're trying to, get co- when you're trying to cover up. Like, that's... There's so many things. Deontay Wilder is a he's a specimen. Like he's a shit brick house. Uh oh, what's going on there? Tapping out. It's tapping out. But uh just got hot ones on in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for him to be such a specimen, I and it's just in retrospect, talking about his maybe maybe a five minute walkout, thirty five seconds, five minutes. I don't want you get into the ring and all that extra shit that he did. Then you got uh, Adesanya, who fucking dances all the way to the ring, does his little 
tree bender, skyscraper. Tree fucking... bender. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that shit's called. The kids know. You know what it is. <laughs> tree bender. <laughs> Sky bender. <laughs> Zair bender. You think you're smarter than me? Because you know anime? Huh? Jesus Christ. The, the air old fucking man. <laughs> the airbender, excuse me. Stylebender is Whatever. his nickname. He gets it from the airbender, Aang, from Avatar, the last airbender. Is that the horse? The horse? From Avatar? The horse? Yeah. No. Avatar. Am I thinking the movie? The, no, that's... Mm-hmm. That's the with the blue people. Yeah. No. That's, Where you take your ponytail and you put it on your horse's ponytail and it that's makes CGI. one. That's CGI. That's real? Steven Spielberg made I it. I never said anime was real. What are you talking about? James I think Cameron. you're derailing. You're derailing hard. <laughs> we went off the tracks a long time long ago, Long time friend. ago. A long time ago. So he's called the style bender. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. He's just he's a big anime fan. I know, yeah. He said that's what his whole career is basically... That's why he Sculpted picked. Around. That's why he picked the car he picked. Right. So he always wanted a Lamborghini, but he's seen the orange and black uh, McLaren. McLaren. Yeah. He said, I kind of like that better. Decisions, decisions, bro. But anyways, yeah, uh, Fury and Wilder Three. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. Of course, I'm gonna watch it. Only thing I hate about it is who would you rather see? Who would you rather see Fury fight? I guess Wilder, if you put it like that, I guess Wilder, because I, I think that um, him fighting Joshua is just, it'll be either 12 rounds of dancing, or it'll be what we just seen last two weekends ago, you know, against Wilder. I don't know, I, maybe Deontay Wilder is the best option. There is nobody else past that as of now, you know, there's always somebody on the come up, but I think Fury's about to go on a extremely long, like Vitaly Klitschko type of 12 year run. I mean, he's not that old. No, he's not, no, not, not yeah, that no, old. he's good. Yeah, yeah. So now he's got now he's got Jesus and he's sober. So yeah, four hundred four hundred pounds, four hundred fifty pounds, something like that to four four hundred something pounds. No, it was some four hundred. I don't think. Yeah, was it four was, or was it three fifty? No, it was four. He was at four. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm was he? I know it was at least four. Might have been four fifty, but I know at least four. Yeah, two. he did a good job slimming down and everything. And he, I mean, and he was at two fifty for the first fight, and he put that weight back on for the second fight. So I mean, he got even smaller, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just, I wouldn't want to get hit by him. Either one of them. Either one of them. Oh fuck that! I don't want to get hit by Wilder. Yeah, yeah he's a dangerous ass. Would you? Man. Would for 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 one million dollars? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Would you, for a million dollars tax-free, no questions asked, cash money, would you take a punch from Tyson? Yes. I would take a punch from Tyson Fury, Mike Tyson, and Wilder all in one go for a million dollars. You fucking kidding me? I'd be out after the first one, but was, <laughs> they can hit just, me while I'm on the ground. I don't care. Those two I'm not going to feel. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. <laughs> I don't care to get hit. I, I've never, like, I don't have, yeah. like, you want to hit me in the face. I really don't give a shit. I just don't. like Face or ribs? I, I don't care. You got to remember, I grew up with a younger brother who was only two years younger than me. Yeah. We beat the absolute shit out of each other That's true. our entire childhood. We fist fought. Our brother... And my mother used to work in the afternoons while after we were off of school. So my brother's friends would watch us whenever they were at work. You know what they did? They would give us boxing gloves for their entertainment. Hell yeah. While they weren't shooting us with airsoft guns, they would give us boxing gloves and just have us go at it. I like Daniel, that. Daniel, my younger brother, is the only person who's ever knocked me out. Clean? And he's knocked me out twice. Ooh. Yeah. He's bigger than you. He didn't used to be. Ah. It, it, he's just... The only person I fought a million times, so of course he's the only person who's ever knocked one. me out. Yeah, but he was—he was a vicious little fucker, dude. They used to call him Butter Sprout because <laughs> you know he was—he was always but he's always been bigger. Ah. And then he also threw—he also threw punches like Butterbean. 
Uh, just okay. that wild manic. Makes just... sense. I'd hate to see. Yeah, I'd hate to see your brother in a fight. He can fight. At the same time, I'd love to see your brother in a fight. <laughs> he can yeah, fight. So that's just a. It has a lot to do with me and him kicking the absolute yeah. shit out of each other. That's just a. That's just a, a mass coming at you with fists of fury. What about you? Would you? Would you take some punches from? Yeah. Would yeah, you get would. hit? Would you get drilled right in the nose by Mike Tyson for fifty bucks? No. Hundred bucks. No. Two hundred bucks. Million. Fuck, dude, I do it for five hundred. I might whoop his ass. You know, I don't like my. I don't like being hit in the face. I might just go from a challenge to me just <laughs> getting killed because I threw back. I don't like getting hit in the face. <laughs> hit me in the uh, not well, the nose. On now. Not, oh, you like to throw rights, huh? <laughs> <laughs> whoop <his> ass. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding mike if you're watching this i know you're not but if you are thank you uh donate to our Please patreon don't eat my ear and don't hit me i love your show <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's my favorite boxer of all time mike tyson yeah really oh yeah, yeah of mike all tyson. time of all time through the good and the bad like even like we have a we have a mutual friend that that makes excuses for conor mcgregor through the good and the bad like when he whipped that old man's ass he said that old man was probably giving him a dirty look like i said that what are you talking about well you do it too but but brad is way worse <laughs> oh than you yeah. Are. yeah yeah that's the way i am with tyson well I mean, yeah i mean that's the way i am with tyson you're gonna are you gonna he it's funny you're not that way with nate because it isn't nah, nate, nate you're like nate yeah, Nate's I, your favorite fighter. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I, your favorite fighter. I am. I am. I am. You, you'll you'll admit that he has the big he has the little brother syndrome. And no, I do admit that. I wish I wish he'd come out from the shadows of Nick and just fucking throw down yeah. like we Except all know that he you're can. You're not the biggest thing that there ever was yet. He could be though. If he, he would have done that a long time ago, he'd it, be the been, biggest thing right now. Ooh, yeah. yeah, which he's already made his money too, though. Like. He's a, he made bank off that last fight, little long the first two McGregor fights. You know, he had his paydays. He had his paydays. No, yeah, I I sick up for, for both the Diaz brothers like that too, but not to the extent that Brad sticks up for Conor McGregor. It's like Conor wants to fight a grizzly bear. And Brad would be like, well, yeah, he'd beat him because the grizzly bear's got furry, furry fur. And it's summertime, he'd get hot and sweaty and tax out. And I'm like, <laughs> what about its claws? <laughs> no, it's fine. The furry fur is going to make him inside the first round. I'm like, don't let him get to the second round, though. He might tap his ass out. <laughs> and that's usually where our conversations end. <laughs> uh oh, E40 on hot ones? Why can't we get on hot ones? I'd love to be on hot ones. I would love to be on hot ones. I would love. I want to know how hot. I, I'd like to. I'd like to get the hot sauces that they use in the show mm -hmm. and just test them out. See how much, how much of these people are just like big old bitches. Now, oh, <laughs> not all the sauces are. They're baked in them, right? Or are they they're like slathered because I've I never. Don't know, seen I don't them. know how they cook them. I don't I, know if they toss them in them or they bake them in them. I've never seen a wet wing. If they bake them in them, that's a whole different it's a game. Whole ball, different tossing, ball game. tossing will fuck that'll you fuck up. That'll fuck your day up. Yeah, I've never seen a wet wing on but this bacon, show. But bacon, that'll take a lot of the heat out. And then, like we just watched somebody do a, a vegan nugget one, and we watched Paul Rudd do cauliflower. Oh yeah, which yeah, is awesome. I forgot about that. Bringing me back to vegan though. Talking about Whataburger compared to uh, In and Out Burger, uh, maybe not Whataburger, but talking about the the impossible burger which is a lot like the impossible whopper from burger king i have a question if you're a vegan why are you why are you going why are you going to a fast food joint first and foremost if you're a true vegan right how do you know what the fuck a burger tastes like to yearn for it to get the impossible burger like why what's the point i mean they sell the i mean the what is that brand morning farms or morning star mm-hmm I mean, they sell those, they sell those black bean burgers that are actually pretty damn good. That's a whole different. That's a whole different concept. Yeah, those though. are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And same thing with the Portobello burgers too. And the other thing is like, I don't know, like all that shit is just like contaminated with meat. That's what I don't think a lot of these people think about. You know, they're going Burger King and getting an Impossible Whopper. You do understand, like, all of that stuff is contaminated with 
animal meat. Like Everything is crossed over that burner. Yeah. Not like to that, mention. That your Impossible Burger was probably cooked right next to a fucking regular Whopper. I was going to say, not to mention, you know how many times I fucked up orders in, in my fast fooding days? Like when I was a young boy, I was like, oh shit, no onions. Bloop. Back in the bucket. Yeah. Right? Or, you know, they probably got, at one point, someone got an actual Whopper. It was like, man, this does taste like meat. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> just ruin that person's whole... They, that's what they're like, doing. They're just... they just, the next six It's months. just an actual Whopper. They're just selling it as a vegan it from Whopper. The jump. I said it from the jump. It was the same damn thing. It might be. It might be. It might be. It's ruining vegan. That's what you get if you're a vegan. That's what you get if you're a vegan going to Burger King. Says the man who's joint. juicing right now. I'm not going to Burger King to go get a juice made out of Whopper. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. I'm, I'm right here. Doing all your shit at home. Right here at that, yeah. I'm right here in this fucking, over in that kitchen, putting the hours in. I know what's going into my juice. Impossible juice made out of Smoothie King shakes. <laughs> the impossible juice tastes like ice cream. Because it is. <laughs> Man, I lose any weight. Matter of fact, I gained 20 pounds. Because you drink milkshakes for 40 days, fatty. You fucking idiot. Oh, man. That's about it. I think we just covered everything. Covered everything. How do we like, do that? How do we just fly by an hour like that every single time? Every time. It. Every time. Has it been an hour? There's no way it's been an hour. It's on the screen for you, dude. Where? Oh. I don't see it. I take your word for it. I'm looking at it. I wonder who sets all this up. Oh, he does. <laughs> it's right here. Look. Where, where? No shit. 51 yeah. minutes. You can have frame per second. The CPU usage. C CPU. <laughs> CPU usage. Uh, and Please go on. Yeah, the recording time. There. Mm. It's all there. I've never not given you the credit for setting this shit up. You set it all up. You're the, you're the electronic guy. No, you never give me credit for anything. I'm just the asshole on the other end of the mic. I'm fine Cruz, with that, though. Cruz sets up all the electronics. He takes care of the... I take care of all that. Yeah, anything that I'm like, this is dumb. I'm not doing this. He takes care of. It's <laughs> uh, so true. It is. It's like I'm five seconds into something. I'm like, this is stupid. But to your credit, there's been a mul there's been multiple times where I've I've rage quit. And completely given up and I because just come I can't figure it out. It. And somehow just, you're like, okay, I'll just sit down and figure it I out. I just quietly do it, and then I'm like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> really? Is old dad just stupid, or is he just lazy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Life lessons. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hit up our website, theasylum.productions. Uh, go to our Patreon. Become a patron. Uh, all you got to do is click on the link. And it's going to take you to the section of where you can become a subscriber, right? For three dollars, five dollars, or ten dollars. Uh, three job. different, three different yes. tiers. I, I I know things. Three different tiers, uh, different uh, behind the scenes um, merch. Merch. Yeah. Uh, maybe a, a, we'll give you a special show. Uh, it's all on there. We'll show you our penis. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Is that what we gotta do? I'll, sh I'll show you on the doll where I like to be touched. <laughs> oh, show us on the giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> He's an official part of the show. Where's he at? He's under here. Why? Where's his sombrero? At? It's over here. Oh God, Jeffy Dahmer. Is. Has he got an? Has he got ear piercings yeah, now? <laughs> He's good. I'm gonna just ride it out with him the rest of the show right here. Just staring, Wait, let go staring of his right neck. at Cruz. Let go of his neck. Oh, look at standing right. up. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I don't like that fucking giraffe. I know you hate him. I hate that giraffe. You hate him. I wish I would have saved that video of you punting it across the floor. That was <laughs> such a, yeah, it was perfect. Studio. He did a perfect somersault. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why. This was my kid's draft, and I was like, they never play with it. I think it freaks them out, too. So I thought. Well, I wonder why. Yeah. Give him a give him a sweet stash, and uh, make him the mascot. Our logo's a monkey. I know. Before you say it. <laughs> yeah, why I was about it? to. Yeah. I was about to remind you again. Yeah. Why is the giraffe? Because he's Draffy Dahmer. He brings all the joy to everybody. 
Hmm? I don't like that either. <laughs> Quit. Quit. I don't like that I'm not sitting beside you anymore and just throw things at you. <laughs> Die! Oh, uh, right there. There it is. So, yeah, since you're on the website, uh, go to the Patreon. Thank you for those of uh, patrons that have subscribed uh, to the Patreon account. Um, if you don't know what about what it's about, basically... We want to do this for the rest of our lives. We don't want to work real jobs anymore and put a lot of time into this show, uh, obviously. On the road a lot, shit like that. So we want to keep being able to bring you awesome content, awesome shows, um, up to the minute bullshit on music, which we didn't really cover any music today. It's just kind of a dead period in, oh, yeah, in we music didn't. talk. Yeah, there's yeah. not really... We didn't at all. Hey! <laughs> Also, uh, don't forget to <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us how much you hate the giraffe, uh, the giraffe as Jeffy. much as I do. Jeff, Jer- Jeffy, staring Dump. at me. I'm getting nervous. That's that's the Jeffy. view I don't like. When I can't, when I see both of its eyes, because hmm? one looks lazy. Be, if one is lazy. He's got a lazy eye. <laughs> yeah, like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube channel. Make sure to share on your Facebook page. We're also on Instagram. We're on. We're all the platform. All the platforms. The Twitter, um, even though we're lazy with it. Yes, yeah. we are on Twitter. But we're we're there. Uh, you want to talk about the thing we're working on? We're 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 flirting with the whole with the fights. We'll save it. We'll save it. Let's save, save it. it for another time. We we'll tease huh? you. Just know. He's gonna be here for you. Huh? Good times. <laughs>